a polygon. Polygon is nothing but a closed figure. If you consider a triangle, this is a closed figure. So, a triangle can be called as a polygon. Polygon with least number of sides is a triangle. And we have studied in our earlier classes, sum of angles of a triangle to be equal to 180 degree. I wrote it as 1 into 180 which is equal to 180 degree. Now let us come to a four sided closed figure. This is a four sided closed figure. We call it as a quadrilateral. From one of the vertex, I have drawn a diagonal. So that the quadrilateral is divided into two triangles. So the sum of angles of a quadrilateral is nothing but you got two triangles. So sum of angles is 2 into 180 degree which is equal to 360 degree. Come to the next figure. A five sided closed figure can be called as a pentagon. I have drawn a pentagon here. This five sided figure is a pentagon. Now again from one vertex I have drawn diagonals to the opposite vertices. So that this pentagon is divided into three triangles. So sum of angles of a pentagon is nothing but 3 into 180 which is equal to 540 degree. Come to the next figure. The six sided polygon is called as a hexagon. Here again from one vertex I have drawn diagonals to the opposite vertices so that I could divide this hexagon into four triangles. So sum of all angles of a hexagon is nothing but 4 into 180 degree which is equal to 720 degree. Hope you understood about the sum of angles. For a triangle it is 180 degree. For a four sided figure it is 2 into 180 degree. For a 5 sided figure it is 3 into 180 degree. For a 6 sided figure the sum of angles is 4 into 180 degree which is equal to 720 degree. Next let us look at a 8 sided figure. A 8 sided polygon is called as an Octagon. I have drawn the figure here. You can see there are 8 vertices. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 vertices. For an octagon there are 8 vertices and 8 sides. Now again let us find the sum of angles of a octagon. To find the sum of angles of an octagon from one vertex let us draw diagonals to the opposite vertices. So you will be able to draw how many diagonals. Look at the figure. You will be able to draw the first diagonal like this. This is your second diagonal. This is your third diagonal. From here you will be able to draw the fourth diagonal. Also, you can draw the fifth diagonal. So, sum of angles of a octagon will be equal to how many triangles are formed here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, sum of angles of a octagon is equal to 6 into 180 degree which gives you 1080. Do you understand? Children, here we are going to arrive at a conclusion for the sum of angles of a n-sided polygon. Just now we saw sum of angles of a triangle to be equal to 1 into 180 
which is equal to 180 degree. And we said a quadrilateral can be divided into two triangles. So sum of angles is equal to 2 into 180 which is equal to 360. A pentagon can be divided into three triangles. So sum of angles is equal to 3 into 180 which is equal to 540 degree. And what about a hexagon? We will be able to get four triangles. So sum of angles 4 into 180 which is equal to 720 degree. Now a seven sided figure is called as a heptagon. The sum of angles of a heptagon would be equal to 5 into 180 degree which is equal to 900. And in the case of an octagon, we saw it is 6 into 180 degree which is equal to 1080. Now, from all this, we can come to a conclusion that a four-sided figure is divided into two triangles. Five-sided figure is divided into 5 minus 2, that is three triangles. Hexagon is divided into 6 minus 2, 4 triangles. From this, what did you understand? Any polygon can be divided into the number of sides minus 2 triangles. So, we can say the sum of angles of a n-sided polygon would be equal to the number of sides. I have taken it as n. So, from the number of sides, subtract 2 and multiply it by 180 degree from which we will be able to get the sum of angles of the given polygon. Let us discuss an example. If there are 12 sides for the polygon, what would be the sum of angles for a 12 sided polygon? The sum of angles would be 12 minus 2 which gives you 10. So sum of angles of a 12 sided polygon would be 10 into 180 which gives you 1800 degree. Is it clear children? We got a formula for sum of angles of any polygon to be equal to n minus 2 into 180 degree. Let us work out just two problems using the idea we have studied. What is the sum of angles of a 52 sided polygon? We know the general formula. Sum of angles of a polygon is equal to n minus 2 into 180 degree where n denotes the number of sides. Since this is a 52 sided polygon, we can write n to be equal to 52. So, we get 52 minus 2 into 180 degree. That is equal to 50 into 180. That gives you 9000. So, sum of angles of a 52 sided polygon is equal to 9000. Okay. Come to the next question. Sum of angles of a polygon is 8100. How many sides does it have? We are given sum of angles and we are asked to find the number of sides of the polygon. We know the formula for sum of angles of the polygon as n minus 2 into 180 degree. This is given to be equal to 8100. Okay. Now our question is to find the number of sides. That is we have to find out n. So in the next step what we can do? 180 degree is multiplied here. Take this 180 to the other side of the equal to sign. So that you will get n minus 2 is equal to 8100 divided by 180. Now let us simplify this. You can cancel 0 with a 0. Now you can cancel 18. 
Two nines are eighteen. Numerator nine nines are eighty one. So you get ninety divided by two, which simplifies to forty five. So we got n minus two is equal to forty five, and so n is equal to forty five. Minus two taken to the other side becomes plus two, so you got forty-seven. So number of sides of that polygon is forty-seven. More questions we will discuss in our next video, children. Thank you.